previously on Escape. I just wanted to send a message to my mother. I need you to take her to me. What does she know that you put so much effort into keeping secret? Don't worry about it. Finally, you're coming with me. <laughs> we don't have that much time. Why are you helping me? I figured she was hiding something, and I want to know what that is. I... Fine. Hey, we're in the abandoned park behind the building. If I tell you, will you call them off? You're too late. Rubber bands again. Once again, it was all I was given. And you don't need to whisper. No one's here. Why would he risk saving me to then betray me? Right to the point then. It could have gone two ways. One, I save you, you tell me what you know, and we both help each other escape. Two, I save you, you don't tell me what you know, and I turn you in and say it was all part of the plan. So you were just looking out for yourself? Well, think about it. Why should I risk myself for someone who I can't trust? I mean, what would you have done if you were in my position? Are you just going to leave me here? I don't need to be here. You're all tied up, and you don't have your flat head to free you this time. Then why did you stand watch in the first place? When you could have just gone away. Were you bored, or did you want to chat or something? I, I wanted to make sure you didn't escape. But like you said, I'm tied up and I don't have my flathead. Hey, are you talking to the prisoner? Uh, no. No, I was just interrogating her for some information, just like the boss said to. You're lying. The boss said not to talk to her. That she take care of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's been a long day, you know. How about you go outside and get some fresh air? It looks like you need it. Okay. What are you doing? Um, hitting my head against the door. Stop doing that, you're gonna hurt yourself. Hello? Hello? Oh no! <laughs> and he said I couldn't get out without my foot. Bro, I think she dies. Dude, I'm telling you, she's right here. Oh, there's, there's no one here. Okay, dude, she died and then ascended to heaven, okay? With her body. <laughs> Listen, she probably escaped. You look outside, I'll look here for clues. Okay. You can come out now. Thank goodness, my legs were hurting. How come I didn't get a costume change? First, I didn't know your size. And what are you doing? We're escaping, duh. We? Yes, let's go. No, listen. This is what we are going to do. You are going to go back into that room, and I'm going to say that I found you and I brought you back to life. Brought me back to life? Zach thought you ascended into heaven, okay? They don't believe anything. Come on, this is our chance to get away from her. What's the difference between this time and last time? I didn't lie to you last time. But you didn't tell me the truth either. If I promise to tell you, will you help me get out of here? Yes. Okay, good. Here's the plan. No, she couldn't. Well? Found 
Bro, where is she? Come on, let's hey, go. Let's get out of here. How to escape from a locked room. Dang it, no internet! Come on, I need something that can help me get out of here, man. Come on, come on, come on. There's nothing in here, it's just stuff. Mr. Paper, what do I do? Oh, thank you, Mr. Paper. Yes! Thank you, Mrs. Paperclip. I should call the boss. Come on, come on, pick up, pick up. Hey! So, I know we're on a you call me, I don't call you under any circumstances kind of basis, but um, we got a problem. What now? I'm in the middle of something. I, I know, Your Excellency, it's just Pablo helped the girl escape. I know. You know? Of course I know. Everything is going according to plan. So, Go for a walk or something. I'll call you when I need you. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Gosh. How many things do you have in your shoe? You'd be surprised. This isn't the time to buy something. But I need to stay hydrated. But there's no time. See? Already done. Let's go. You're wasting time. Go over there. I'm gonna check if someone is following us. So I used to work at the bank, and one day she wanted to get money. The clerk didn't let her because she had debts, but she still ran her business on the side. I found out that she would barely pay her workers and would say that she would give them the rest later, when she never did. So I asked her about it. But I refused to stand by as people risk their lives for nothing. So she sent me a message and got me fired from the bank, but I still didn't listen. I wanted to tell her workers what was going on. But being the sneaky person that she is, she told them earlier that I would approach them and convince them to leave her and join me and my new company. I was starting, which was a lie, so they didn't listen to me. But I kept trying and trying because I was hanging on to the hope that maybe, just maybe, one of them would listen to me. She saw that I was not giving up, that I would ask everyone that was working for her. So the only thing she can do to keep me quiet was to get me. So I started to run. And I've been on the run ever since. Wow. Yeah, I know it's a lot. Here, have some water. You're still here. Listen, we gotta do something about this. Haven't you been listening? I did that already. We still gotta try. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you were going to go off and try to tell everyone. Trust me, you can't compete with him. They're my friends. Though, no. listen, listen to me. Wait. What did you do? It was the only way. 